to get into uh, David Perdue real quick. Uh, as I mentioned at the top, I didn't watch the um, Ossoff Perdue debate. I, <laughs> I kind of lost track of it. Um, but what I want to talk about Perdue is that he was over in Macon, Georgia, in a rally. Um, it's either this past weekend or late last week. It was a Trump rally, but he was there mm-hmm. as well because uh, he's running for Senate, obviously. And so it's picking, piggybacking off of the Trump campaign. So he goes and he starts talking. And at one point, he decides to start talking about uh, Senator uh, Kamala Harris. Um, Kamala Harris has a difficult name to pronounce. If you Not aren't really. already, yeah, I know. <laughs> but I mean, but if you haven't been privy to it, you know, you might think it's, you know, uh, Kamala, uh, you could, something, you could, you could make a different pronunciation. That is an innocent mispronunciation. What he did was um, Kamala, 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 la, la, whatever her name is, you know, and the whole audience is there laughing. We know exactly what he was trying to do. That was one of those, oh, that that lady with the ethnic name, she's not one of us, you know, she, but she's trying to bring in socialism and all that. That's all that was. And anyone with an ethnic name has gone through that before. They know that. And I was like, keep talking because you you don't realize that Georgia is a lot more diverse than you think. So, yeah. so, keep, so keep throwing that, you know, you know, thinly veiled dog whistle and see what happens at the, at the ballot, at the ballot box. I got to look into this. There's just one um, person. It was, she was a progressive Democrat running. I think she was running in Gwinnett. And she was actually, of, I, I'm not going to say Indian, just of Middle Eastern, even though I know Indian is not Middle yeah, Eastern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. South there's, Asia. There's South Asian. Asians, like, right? I, I should look into how she reacted because a lot of it is also you got to think about come on, la, 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 la. you yeah. got to think about that yes. yeah you know and when I read on that I thought of two things one he is just showing his 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 um his arrogance thinking I could just say this crap nobody's gonna care right yeah second because well, it's making too. Huh? I knew where he was doing it. Macon. Macon. Even though we have we have people in Macon that we love. Right? We do, but I'm not I'm not blind to the realities of it. And he, trust he me, the people that, that we love in, the people we love in Macon are not blind to that stuff either. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but but the second thing that I realized what he was doing too was he is doing what I call the Conor McGregor which is if people who don't watch MMA, Conor McGregor is a larger than life fighter, right? He's Irish, he brash, talks all this crap. He, if you've ever seen a meme where it says, who the fuck is that guy? That's him, right? Because he's just, he's funny, he talks trash, whatever, right? He's cocky, all that good stuff, right? There's another fighter. Uh, is it Kobe Covington? Oh, 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 Kobe. Okay, okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who I say is trying to do the same thing, except he's trying to align it with being a MAGA guy, mm-hmm. right? He go, I'm going to go to the White House and put the president, on, put the belt on a real president. He got a call from jo- Donald Trump on his last win. Uh, he didn't get a call when he got his ass whooped by the African, though, did he? But anyways, he, um, you know, so he, he, um, the one thing I always say about him and a lot of other fighters is somebody didn't tell you that you can't, you don't have the Conor McGregor personality to be having the Conor McGregor type of attitude and way of speaking. Same thing with David Perdue. David Perdue, all these other Republicans, they try to do what Donald Trump does, but they don't realize Donald Trump does what he's doing because that's what he's always done. Yeah. He did that on The Apprentice because remember, he's not really a president. He's a reality TV star. Um, so he did that on The Apprentice. He did that He did that when he was running, right? Everybody liked it because, oh man, he says the stuff that uh, nobody ever says. Yeah, that like, I want to say, but I can't say. Exactly. Okay, so you're just admitting you are a racist. You just don't want to admit it. But, you know, it's just like, it, it, it's when you do that though, to me, that always reeks of desperation. Mm. Because why are you not trying to get 
to this position again the way you did it back when you got it the first time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Why are you, why are you now tapping into, you know, racist tropes? Why because, are you changing I mean, up call, your game? Call, call it what it is. Those are racist tropes. Yeah, and, yeah. He, and he knows that that brings out voters, you know, who are like, oh, you know, yes, I do say crappy things about um, Kamala's name. I'm glad this guy says it too. I'm going to vote for him. Nah, bro. Those people are going to vote for you regardless. You, what you should be trying to do is get people who are on the fence, and that's not getting them. And this to- is the thing I, I will admit. Look, who, who was the one that told me? Not all, not all Republicans are racist. No, of course not. Yeah. But all people who vote for Trump because of his racist things are racist. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I, 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 it's it's, it's kind of like, look, not all... There are like we and me and Zeno are from the South. We grew up in Georgia. We, 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 you know, we we've been here for a very long time. Z, you've been here for what? Like well over a years. decade, right? Seventeen years. Seventeen years. I've been here for um for twenty four. You know, uh no twenty four, nineteen. Oh shit, no no I haven't. I'm sorry. I've been here for uh since nineteen ninety. So I've been here for thirty years. Man, I'm old. So you know, we've been around. I've been around. A, I've been around a lot of white people. Republican people, they do like me as a person, right? There are some of them who can't really realize that why they shouldn't be voting Republican because of the fact that, hey, this guy's being racist. But there are some people who do look at it like, yo, this guy is a racist jackass. I have friends of color. I can't vote for him this time. Yeah. So oh, it's, vote- there's a lot in Georgia. I'm seeing it a lot of like um, people saying that. I've, I've I've voted Republican all my life. I'm gonna vote for Joe Biden this year. It's happening a lot because of the fact of the matter is that it's just like not everybody's in your. You know what it is? It's too. It, it's these are old white men. Simple as that. Old white men who are running out of time, yeah. honestly, and they're tapping into the one thing that used to be good back in the '80s. Back in the '80s, you used to be able to say a bunch of racist crap. You know? Yeah. And it's not the case anymore. I mean, look, Joe Biden comes from that time. And Joe Biden's probably said some, Joe Biden has said some uncolorful th- um, yeah. things. But- oh, oh I, I love, I love that. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to cut you off. But I was just going to say, every time, you know, I'm on these, like, comment sections and people want to, you know, tell, whenever they see me comment on something, they're like, oh, here's a black guy. Let me now start posting a bunch of pictures of things Joe Biden said in the 70s and 80s that were anti-black. And I'm always like, bro, you're showing me stuff that's like 40 years old. I'll show you something your president said yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, you know, we're, we're talking yeah, about, and, you know, and renewal. Look, it, and it's, look, the reason I don't like, me and you have had this discussion, the reason why I'm not a huge fan of Joe Biden isn't because of him possibly being racist. It's just because to me, he's not has been as progressive as I want him to be. Right. Okay. And that's why the debate was never, will I vote for him or Trump? It's will I vote for him or not vote for him? Biden, that is. Right. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. But that's the thing is, though, that's the difference. Joe Biden got a black woman on his thing, on, on his vice presidential candidate. Right. Basically, show like, look, it's time for the, the futures to move on. Right. Because, like you said, his. You said his number one thing that you think was for him to come and get Donald Trump out of office. I, said I think so. I think that was, huh? For me, that was the number two reason. Number I, I reason. honestly don't. I honestly don't think the Democrats saw Bernie as a bigger threat than Look, Zeno, Donald Trump. Yeah. How is how are they going to say Bernie is more of a threat than Donald Trump? No, no, no. They didn't say that Bernie's more of a threat than Donald Trump, but they also said that we don't want Bernie Sanders at all. It wasn't that they yeah, want. That might be so, true. The and Democratic, you have to go the, the prim- and the primary, you have to go. So that's why you got to stop Bernie Sanders first. The and the Democratic then, I establishment might and they not knew want that nobody else on that ticket was going to be Bernie Sanders. So the Democratic establishment might not want Bernie, they did. but to it's say not- that somehow Bernie is a bigger threat to them than Donald Trump is ridiculous. It really is. That- because at the end of the day, if Bernie wins the, the nomination and then goes on and wins the election, he might be further left than the Democratic establishment is, 
but he would still work with them. They would still caucus with him. They would still probably even move to the left because they understand that that's what the voters want. Yeah, that's, they can't that's, work with they can't hey, work with Trump yeah, at all. That is a beautiful argument, and you should have told them that before they decided to uh, go against my boy. And yeah. um, <laughs> like, what does it matter? The, the people yeah. voted; they didn't so, want him. They didn't. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, because there's no. Okay. Oh, voters' when, oppression only happens during the general, right? Anyways. Sir, no, 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 not, not anyways. No, 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 no. I'm gonna. Clyburn and Obama made sure that uh, uh, Joe Biden got the nomination. Now Joe Biden is trying to beat Donald Trump, and then now we can go. And are we done with the debates? No, I no. I'm gonna touch on this because you can't say anyways to that. Yes, maybe Clyburn and Obama wanted Biden Mm -hmm. because Biden worked with them. That's the thing. That's the problem with Bernie, and that's always been the problem with the supposed progressive wings. It's always like, oh, you're not too far. You're not too on our side. You're too, you're too centrist. You do. Biden worked with people, and then people liked Biden. Even Republican senators like Biden. Loved Bernie. How many people? A lot. Was it more than fifty percent? It was a hell of a lot of 50% if we hadn't freaking had a uh, coalition of uh, freaking all these uh, corporate Democrats instead of drop out at one time and getting all their voters to vote for them. And if then it that, was more than 50%. And not only that, but then you want to know why I hate, why I don't like Mayo Pete? Uh-huh. He didn't win that damn caucus, but he just claimed it for himself. Yeah, they hadn't finished counting and he said, yeah. yeah he won. didn't win it though. Okay. It yeah, happened. Okay. He said yeah. it. Oh, okay. I'm glad you, yeah, glad you can't He's, argue that he did. It, it was a tie. It was, a, was it was a Anyone statistical else? tie. You yeah. can go to Wikipedia and look at it right now. Now, Wikipedia, so, Wikipedia's fake news. Anyway. Fine, go to 538.com. The point being that if Bernie didn't get more than 50%, then you can't say the majority of people wanted Bernie. It's, it's literally not a majority. He had a plurality when Who'd there you were vote more. for in the primary? I voted for Biden because by the time it came to it didn't matter exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was good, I was rooting for I was rooting for Warren. Warren was my was my primary candidate. But the thing, the fact of the matter is, when there was a plurality, just like when Trump was running, when sorry, when there was a, when there were more than like four candidates in there, Bernie was consistently consistently winning the plurality because the progressives they had their guy, whereas the establishment, if you want to call it that were split between Buttigieg and Klobuchar and Biden and yada, yada, yada. And then it got to a point where these other candidates were like, hey, look, um, I don't see any path to victory because Biden is spanking us with black voters. And if I don't have a path to, vi- to victory, I'm, I'm, I have to drop out and I'm going to endorse someone. And the person they endorsed was the person that they felt more aligned with, which was Biden. It's not some big coup. It's like, I'm not going to win it, so I'm going to throw my weight behind this person. They did throw their weight behind Bernie. And you know why? It's because we were talking about, you know, bringing, being inclusive and, you know, not just being like, you know, I, I am the arbiter or I'm the gatekeeper of this thing. The, the progressive wing for so long has always acted as, you know, oh, we're the gatekeeper of what should we should do on climate change, what we should do on this, and never willing to bend. And, and the thing about politics is when you get into power, it's not a dictatorship. you got to bend. And because the progressive wing was never willing to bend, it turned off a lot of people. And a lot of people were like, hey, I guess the only other option is Joe Biden. That's why Bernie lost. Not, it's that not some conspiracy. Decided that was the establishment who decided. Thank you so much so much for the, for the, establish, the establishment didn't the didn't collusion me, they did the you know, you did didn't make me pers- arguing why the collusion of a successful the establishment didn't make me mark joe biden on my on my thingy right the establishment yeah they did when we when we're freaking how, by the time we voted it shit doesn't matter first of all we could talk about how the prime the primaries, I don't like the way the primaries are anyways. I don't think, think they should we should all do be on one, the same state, one state, one state, one state. No, yeah, Jesus Christ. Mm, um, I don't know. I, th- I think that deserves a longer conversation about why it is over a stretch of time as opposed to one time. Um, but yeah, no, I don't, I don't like that idea of all being I, on one day. I, I don't like the idea of the fact of the matter is, remember this shit was decided in March. We voted in what, June? Yeah, because it was delayed. I was supposed to be 
I think ours was supposed to be late March, and it was late because of the virus, because of the pandemic. Yeah. Um, but by the time it got to us, the the well, either I way, think it was look, like in June. It was like, your people yeah. are already your people are already killing off Joe Biden anyways. Because remember, he ain't making it to four years apparently. <laughs> yeah. Anyway.